Hey guys, I'm Kevin from Native Code. Let's see how to create and manage NFC cards in GoBiz. First, we start with the Admin panel and navigate to the NFC Cards tab. There, we have four dropdowns named Designs, Manage Orders, Manage Keys, and Transactions. Now click on Designs. Now click on Create and enter the required details. First, type the name you want to give to your card. Then, enter a price of your choice. After that, provide a description for the card. At the end, upload the front image from your local system and then follow the same procedure for the back image. Finally, click on Create. You will then see a message saying, Design created successfully. Next, click on the NFC Cards and Designs tab. The NFC card you created will be displayed here. Click on Actions, and you will see three drop-down options. Click on Edit if you want to modify any details, make the necessary changes, and then click Update. If you want to deactivate your card, click on Deactivate, then click Proceed, and the card will be deactivated. For activation, follow the same process. If you want to delete the card, click on Delete, then click Proceed, and it will be permanently removed. Now let's switch to the user panel to see how NFC cards work for the user created by the admin. Now click on Order NFC card. The user can select any of the available cards based on their preferences, and then click on Place Order. After placing the order, the user can check the order details and enter the shipping details carefully, one by one. If the user has a coupon code, they can enter it here. If the coupon code is valid, a success message stating, Coupon applied successfully, will be displayed. Next, the user should select a payment method and click on the Continue for Payment button to proceed with the payment process. Upon successful completion of the payment, a confirmation message will appear stating, Order has been successfully placed. Now, navigate to the Manage Orders section. Here, the user can see their purchased NFC card, including its unique activation code and other relevant details. The payment status should be marked as Paid. The user also has the option to upload a logo for their NFC card. To do this, they must choose a file from their local system and click on Upload. Once uploaded, the logo will be updated. In the action section, clicking on View will display all the order details. including the shipping address, billing address, and payment amount. Next, go to the Manage NFC Cards tab. Here, the status of the NFC card will be displayed. If the card status is unlinked, it must be linked to a business card. To do this, go to Actions and click on Link to NFC Card. A list of available V-Cards and stores will be displayed. Simply select one of them and click on Link. A message stating V-Card linked successfully will appear. Finally, click on your card name to view the linked business card and verify the connection. Now let's switch to the admin panel to see how the admin can manage their users' NFC cards. First, go to the Manage Orders section where you can view all the purchased NFC cards of your customers.
Click on Actions, and then select View to see the order details along with the delivery information of your customer. After reviewing the details, go back and click on Write in NFC card, where you will find the unique URL assigned to the user along with the logo. Next, go back and click on Greeting Letter. In this section, the unique activation code for the user will be displayed, which can be included as part of a greeting letter for your customer. This letter can also serve as an instruction manual to guide the user. Below the page, you will find certain short codes that can be used according to your preference. Scroll up and click on Print to get the copy of it. Now go back to the Transactions tab, where you can view all transactions made by your customers. Click on Actions, where you can access the invoice and modify the payment status if necessary. Once again, return to the Manage Orders section. and click on Update Status. Here you can update the delivery status, enter the tracking number, select the courier partner, and add a delivery message. These details will help your users track their NFC card. Finally, click on Update to save the changes. Now, click on Manage Keys, where you can see both the linked and unlinked keys. For example, Beauty Patel's card is linked to a V card, which was done by the user. Now click on Generate, enter the desired keys, and then click on Generate. You will receive a message stating, Keys generated successfully. This indicates that you have now created an unlinked key. You can provide this key to the user, allowing them to directly paste it and link it to their vCard. Next, we will move to the user dashboard to see how the activation process works. Click on the Activate NFC Card tab, paste the unique key, which is the activation code, select the vCard the user wants, and then click on Activate. You will receive a confirmation message stating, Business card activated successfully. Now, let's see how a user can unlink and link their vCard. Click on Manage NFC card. Go to Actions, and click on Unlink NFC card. Then, click Proceed, and you will receive a message stating, vCard unlinked successfully. Now, to relink the vCard, click on Link to NFC card. Choose any of the available V cards and click on Link. You will receive a confirmation message stating V card linked successfully. Finally, click on the name to view the linked V card. That is it, guys. This is how GoBiz NFC cards works for both admin as well as users.